Hey everyone, this is Ben. Today, let's see how to send push notifications to browsers by using JavaScript and PHP. Let's get started. Okay, I have an empty folder here in this path on my local Apache server. All right, let's run VS Code here. Here I create a simple index.html. Okay. All right. And here it is. This is a simple HTML page. And I want to send push notification to it. To do this, we first need a service worker for this page. We send the push notification to the service worker and the service worker will show it for us. Let's create it. The service worker is a simple JavaScript file. First, create a listener for push event. Now create a cons for notification and get the data from the event in JSON format. Next, use the show notification function to display the notification and use this to get title. Additionally, we can add more options. Create an object here and define the body property and get it from notification.body and an icon. It can be any image file. I simply put this PNG here. And use it as the icon. All right. We can also have additional data. And here put any data you want to use later. For example, I define notif URL for when the user clicks or taps on the notification and get it from this. Okay, now we need to put this inside event dot wait until because it ensures the service worker stays active until push notification tasks are finished. Now let's create another listener for when the user clicks or taps on the notification. Notification click. And here, use clients.openWindow and get the notification object and get the data. And this notif URL that we already defined before. And also put this in wait until. All right. Our service worker is now ready. We just need to send push notification to it. And the push notification is just a JSON payload. The JSON payload looks something like this.
it has a title a body and a URL All right, this can be the JSON payload. Save it. Now we need to register it in our HTML page using JavaScript. Navigator dot service worker and register. And just put the file name of the service worker. All right, let's check our service worker. Refresh the page and in Chrome, open the Dev Tools and look for Application tab. And here select Service Workers. You can see that our service worker is here. It's activated and is running. Now here we can test the push listener. We just need to put the JSON payload here. Okay. All right. But before that, we must manually allow notifications for this page. Here, we can allow notifications manually. To apply the updated settings, we need to reload the page. All right. Done. And here is the notification, title, icon, and body. And if I click on it, it will open the URL that we defined before. Now let's see how to send this payload with PHP. At first, we need some JavaScript here to get the permission from the user and ask them to subscribe to our notifications. I create a function here and I call it enable notif. Use notification dot request permission to get permission. And if the permission is granted, get the service worker. Navigator dot service worker dot ready then here we can subscribe use this dot push manager dot subscribe and here we need two parameters. First, user visible only, true. And we need this because it ensures that push notifications are displayed to the user only when they are actively using their device. It's just a security check. And second is application server key. We need to generate it. Let's do it. First, we need a PHP package. Just look for PHP Web Push. Here it is. Web Push Lips. And I will put this link in the caption. Installation 
We can install it using Composer. Composer require manage link slash web push. Open a terminal and let's go back to the documents. Here, look for web ID. We can generate public and private keys using these commands. But here it says, if you can't access a Linux bash, you can use this function, create web ID keys, and then store the keys. Okay, I copy this. And here create a PHP file, webid.php. Now we need to import the package. We just need to include the autoload.php file that is located in the vendor folder. Require once and autoload.php. Okay and paste the function here but we want the output so I use print underscore r and we need to import web id from minish link use web id and here it is minish link web push web id alright save it and we need to run this PHP web ID dot PHP. Here is the public key and here is the private key. Actually, we only need to run this once and copy and save the keys. And we don't need this anymore. All right. Save it. Now we need this. And we'll use the private key later. Now we need this for the application server key. Copy it. Go back to the HTML page. Done. And after subscribe, Then, get the subscription. And I use console log. But we want it in JSON format. So we use JSON.stringify. Now we need to run this function to get the permission and get the subscription data. So I create a button to run it. And it seems okay. Save it and refresh the page but before click on this let me reset the settings to see how ask permission works open dev tools and go to the console and click on this you see that it asks permission to show notifications and if i allow it you see that this is the subscription data it contains endpoint, keys, and other data. And this is specific to this user on this browser. In a real world web page, you must save this data in your database. Anyway, let's see how to send a notification to it. Here, first we need to create a web push object. 
with WAP ID and then send the notification. So I copy these. And create another PHP file here. Send.php. Okay. Import the package. And we donate this. And this is the WAP ID. Subject can be mailed to or your website address and public and private keys and also these two are optional so I remove them and use the public key and the private key all right now our web push object is ready now look for send notification Here it is, for one notification. We can use this. Subscription, payload, and TTL. Subscription is an object that is created from subscription data. The payload can be any JSON string or any string. And the TTL, it is time to live in seconds. TTL is how long a push message is retained by the push service. Okay, copy it. And all right, subscription. Copy all of this. And here, use subscription from Minish link and the static method create. And here we need an array. So I use JSON decode and paste the subscription data here. And here set true for JSON decode because we need an array. And for the payload, I just copy this and simply put it here. And the TTL is okay. And let me change this. And finally put the result in a variable. And print it. Save it. Let's run it. It works. And if I click on it, it opens the link. And also, if our web page is closed, run it again. You see that it works. And the link to this project is in the caption.